Hello everyone, Mark with High Tech Legion. Motherboards often set the theme for a build that we're going to be doing. Whether we're going to be modifying the computer case around the motherboard, a lot of times boards are depicted by colors, uh, the heatsink colors, the PCB colors, and the case mod is determined around that to make everything uniform and everything match. In this video, we'll be looking at the MSI X99S SLI Plus motherboard. And MSI has designed this board to be uniform to fit any build. The PCB is black, the memory slots are black, the heat sinks on your PCH and your VRMs are black. So it's a very sleek board. It'll fit into any build and the, of course, military grade components um, make this one to watch. Stay tuned. So here we can see the box that MSI has prepared for the X99 SLI Plus. Again, matching the motherboard, just a solid black box, silver lettering on here. We can see the Intel Express X99 chipset. And if we take a look at the back of the box, it goes through some of the general features. Uh, the USB steel power, uh, which supplies a stable 5 volts to all the USB ports. Um, so for uh, the USB Bitcoin ASICs, um, if they're drawing too much power from your USB, you won't lose any power because of the stable 5 volts that is supplied to the USB ports. It is multi-GPU capable. We see the DDR4 up to 3,333 megahertz with an OC setting and up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 quad channel on this motherboard. The OC engine uh, which we will talk about later, has uh, maximum flexibility for your B-clock adjustments of 100, 125, and 167 megahertz. It also has the M.2 Genie, or Gen 3 X4. It goes into some other features, um, the Guard Pro, which the Guard Pro is circuit protection, ESD protection, EMI protection, Eco Power, and a lot of other features. Um, we also have, of course, the Military Class 4 um, motherboard, which is the layers of the PCB for extreme stability and extreme overclocking situations. The OC Genie 4, which when we take a look at the board here, we'll go into that. The Command Center, which is the software through MSI that allows you through Windows and the software to do your overclocking, to control fan speeds and all of your tweaking. And then, of course, AMD Crossfire and NVIDIA SLI support. So if we take a look at the motherboard now, you can see here, again, your nice black heat sinks. Your Intel 2011 version 3 socket for the X99 motherboards. Your 8 memory DDR4 memory slots capable of up to 128 gigabytes of memory. Over here we have up at the top first we'll look at our here's our 8 pin uh, EPS connector for our CPU power. We have CPU fan 1 here and CPU fan 2 is over here. We also have a system fan up at the top. We have our 24 pin connector and then we have two USB 3.0 headers. One that would come straight into the board and one that is horizontal for easier connection maybe from your front panel connectors. We also have our eight SATA ports here on the side, SATA 3, 6 gig. Along the bottom we have another system fan. We have our SATA express connectors down here at the bottom. We also have two USB 2.0 headers. We have your front panel audio, another system fan, your uh, CMOS reset jumper, and then we see our four PCI Express X16 slots. This board is capable of quad SLI or tri SLI with the four slots. It is also capable of quad crossfire. Now if we go and take a look at the back of the motherboard here, 
we can see two, four, six, eight USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, there is your PS2 for a PS2 mouse or keyboard. There on the back here is a clear CMOS button. You have your Gigabit Intel Gigabit LAN, your audio with your optical connector. If we look on the back of the motherboard, this is just our basic uh, 2011 socket backplate. And we can see that the heatsink for the voltage regulators also has a nice backplate here. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the accessories for the MSI X99S SLI Plus. So we'll take a look at our accessories for the MSI X99S SLI Plus motherboard. There are included two, four, six SATA cables. You have an NVIDIA SLI bridge. We have connectors for your front panel inputs for your case. So instead of having to try to plug everything into the motherboard, you can connect them to these connectors, which makes it a little bit easier, and then plug the connector right into the motherboard. We have our I.O. backplate, which again, just a nice solid black backplate, no shielding or padding on the backside. We have your driver DVD. MSI supplies a quick installation guide uh, to go through installation of the motherboard, which it's quick, but it, uh, it is pretty detailed at the same point in time. And then we have our user's manual, which right on the front we can see they talk about the Guard Pro um, and the energy saving and circuit protections that come along with the Guard Pro. Very nice manual. And one final thing that we'll take a look at on the motherboard here. Two things. Here is your M.2 SATA connector and you can see right here there is a screw already in the motherboard. So if you were going to use the M.2 SATA uh, for an SSD, you could plug it in there. It would screw and hold down with that screw there and you have that capability built right into the motherboard. And at the bottom here we see our OC Genie and our power and reset buttons on the board. Now the OC Genie button here, when it's flush with the top of the surface, that means it's off. Now how this works is you would turn it on by depressing the button and then you would start your system. And what that does is it automatically overclocks the system for you. Um, it goes into some automatic settings and you can also enable that in the BIOS. But this is something that needs to be pressed when the system has no power to it. And that's why the button depresses down. So you can see if that button is depressed or not. But this will automatically uh, overclock your system according to automatic settings that uh, MSI has designed in the BIOS of this motherboard. And again, like I said, it can also be enabled within the BIOS of the motherboard. Thank you for watching our review of the MSI S X99 SLI Plus motherboard. With the military class four components that are built into this board, uh, the PCB layering, the strength of the board itself, the Guard Pro protection uh, that MSI has built in, their software capabilities, and the extra uh, five volts that go to the USB to give you that pure stability, um, along with just the pure black theme of this motherboard. It'll surely fit in any case, any, you know, if you're going to be modifying the case, if you're not going to be modifying the case, you want to use a certain color lighting, everything will match this motherboard. So thank you for watching. Make sure to visit the hightechlegion.com website for the full review and click down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming video reviews and product releases. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash HTL reviews and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash high tech legion. Thank you.